my Expect the Comics and I'm back. This time I'm going to show you my pickups for New Comic Book Week. If you want to see what uh, books I got this week, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. This will be a rather short video. I'm just going to show you the books I picked up this week for New Comic Book Day. A couple of back issues. Ended up uh, meeting up this week with, uh, with my buddy Mike, Amazing Murfinator. Shout out to you, buddy. We ended up going to uh, my uh, shop, Laughing Shield Comics. So yeah, I meant, ended up uh, meeting up with my buddy Mike, Amazing Murfinator there. He ended up uh, picking up a huge stack of books, uh, primarily Amazing Spider-Man. But uh, I just picked up some... Uh, new comic book day books and uh, just a couple of back issues so I'll show you what I got pretty quickly like I said it'll be a short video so I'll start off with nice house on the lake issue number nine I picked this up this is a cool cover and uh, it's getting towards the uh, end of the series there's only 12 issues so we're at number nine and they're still doing new character story like introduction so I don't really know how uh, Tinian is gonna finish off the series um, so I'm interested in seeing how you're going to really wrap it up. Uh, next issue from Marvel. This is the only Marvel pickup this week. This was on the, um, the list was, uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 38. This was the first appearance of, uh, Billy Morales in the alternate reality, um, playing that new character I was talking to you about. The story wasn't that great, to be honest. Um, I didn't get a chance to get Vibranium Man, you know, Avengers 8, they did not have any there, so, so be it, so I ended up picking up Nice House on the Lake instead, um, and then my pick of the week, Closet, number one, have yet to read this, I'm very interested in reading it and seeing what the uh, whole story is about, I believe it's alien related, so I like, I like reading stuff like that, and then my, uh, my uh, two, uh, Back issue pickups. I picked up some uh, Captain Americas. They were pretty cheap. First issue is Captain America, issue number 215. Love me the yellow covers. This is a fantastic cover. I thought this was pretty interesting. It was only four bucks. Um, but that price uh, stamp there, 35 cents, looks kind of interesting compared to the next issue I have here. And then the other one is Captain America, issue number 218. So this was six bucks. Uh, another great color uh, cover. Love the yellow covers from the uh, from the Bronze Age, along with the uh, Golden Age. But as you can see, the price stamps oh, very different. So I don't know what that's about. I'll have to do some more research on that. Um, pretty sure there's nothing significant about it. They're not like. UK price variants are not Canadian because it's all different. It would be different prices. It just looks different because the Because uh, of the 35 cent is much smaller Than uh, just three issues later Very weird, but um, that's it. Like I said light week for me um, Which is good because last week I ended up spending a lot I've yet to show you what else I picked up last week. So that's coming up I uh, just haven't had the time to record the video but uh, if you like that, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Marks with the Comics, out.